Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to another stream! Yeah, I'm back! Woohoo! <laughs> and as you guys voted, today we are going to be playing Train Driver. Yes, uh, that was your choice. And I shall deliver. And we will be driving passenger train. Yeah, yeah. I really want to make a stream as a dispatcher, but uh, it, it takes too much time to prepare it at the moment. So I would need a few weeks or, or days to, to get ready for it and, and do some research about stations and, and stuff that I would like to show you. Uh, but before that will happen, we will continue driving. <laughs> so yeah, uh, today we will be driving passenger train uh, that you could see on the thumbnail if, if you are watching me on YouTube. <laughs> Right, let's have a look who is with me on the chat. Kolejowy Gagarin, hello, welcome to the stream. Uh, hi Nam, hey, hey, <laughs> long time no see. And uh, whoever is going to show up later, uh, hello, hello. Uh, I can see that I got invitation to Jory, uh, which, yeah, it, it is an idea. It is definitely an idea and I will probably hop into Jory uh, to, to get my timetable. That's, uh, that's... That's really so nice uh, to get some invitation. <laughs> uh, right, but before that will happen, I believe you would like to see the game in a full screen. Uh, let me just find... There we go. Ah, that's much better, isn't it? Right, so let's hop into multiplayer. Uh, I already preset everything. Uh, let me just copy my analysis. There we go. Uh, today quite boring consist, as you can see. Uh, we got two first class wagons, a uh, restaurant wagon and five second class wagons. So uh, that's that should be that should be sufficient for express train, I believe. Uh, so let's hop in driver mode. Oh, I, I don't want to set up the train. I already got it. And we are looking for Zory, uh, so let's hop in. Dominic Toretto, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. My goodness me, Zory are loading for so long. Okay, so uh, that is uh, hello. And, and let's wait. Uh, okay, so analysis is here and uh, there we go. So I'm hoping for a very, very long timetable since this is express train. It shouldn't really take that long. <laughs> uh, right, let me set up this bad boy. Uh, gauge lights, definitely. Cabin lights, I want them. Uh, Panzergraf, we can raise it. Uh, we are going as a fast train. And lights, uh, we are currently alongside platform, so that should be good everything else seems to be set up and just go a little bit further away there we go so for now that should do yeah, unless we will be maneuvering uh, but that will But then I will change the lights. Uh, so for now, that should work. Okay, let me lock the camera. Uh, outside camera. Uh, there we go. We got both. Uh, 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 just a second. There we go, and let's lock this one. Okay, so the camera is set up. Uh, let's have a look. 
yeah all my lights are correct at least for the time being I have to say this is a nice looking station isn't it Max one two five. Yeah, sure. Uh, we can we can do that. I I might have made mistake, uh, but if I remember correctly, EP 7 was able to do. Was it? Uh, there is no information inside. Oh, I might have made mistake. Anyway, uh, it will be one two five. Yeah, uh, sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, I, I thought EP07 was able to reach 130. Hmm. Or maybe that was only EP08. Uh, okay, never mind. Oh well. Chat, mistakes happen, mistakes happen. It's not the first mistake I made today. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've been setting up this stream so quickly that I forgot to set up some OBS features and I had to do that live while on, on the stream already. <laughs> uh, but that's why I got that 10 minutes uh, to, to sort things out if, if something goes wrong. Uh, streamer files, streamer files. Right, we are still waiting for timetable. So how is everyone? Uh, it's it's been a while since since I've seen some of you. So you might share it on the chat. Uh, since we are waiting anyway, and there is not much to do. Except me wandering around. We might as well have a chat. Hmm. U zero seven zero fifteen. He's moving now. Good, good. Another screenshot. Wagons. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what we can find in here.
Hmm. What do we have? Oh, okay. So those are just wagons left behind. Uh, there's some more. Oh, I see. That's, that's actually a freight train. Ooh. That's a really interesting concept, to be honest. Mm, got some empty platforms. Uh, some other cars. Uh, what is that? Ah, yes, yes. So, those are those uh, small gondolas. Is it? Uh, I, I, I'm not sure how they are called exactly. Then we got those container wagons. Ooh, that's really nice. There is something at the end? Yeah, there is. Okay, that is a very mixed consist. Uh, but... But, but, but... There is one little issue yeah this person requested 100 km per hour timetable some of his wagons can't go that fast oh wow how did you manage to do that what have you done Yeah, this one can do 120. Uh, this one uh, can do 90. Uh, I believe there is going to be a program to reintroduce banned people back into into train driver, but I, I haven't really dug deep into what are the conditions and, and how it's done. Uh, but the best way to find out if you can get unbanned is to contact with that email uh, that you will get when you will try to log into the forums. Ah, you see, so if you are trying to do multi-account, then I, I can't really help you. Uh, you will have to contact with administrators and figure out if there is a way for you to eventually get back uh, through the game at some point uh, but that can be done only only through through that email uh, Zephyr hello welcome to the stream I hope you'll have a great time today uh, do I have my skate day tickets yet yes uh, I, I got them uh, they arrived today. If yours haven't arrived yet, uh, then yeah, probably that's because Royal Mail is struggling to deliver letters, uh, which which is no news for anyone for past five years. Uh, but now everyone is making a fuss about it. Okay, I am still waiting for my timetable. It uh, looks like making a long or very long timetable is a complex thing. So, yeah. <laughs> Chat, we will have to wait a bit. But hopefully, I will see nice, like, 200, 250 kilometer long timetable, if possible. Uh, that would be really nice. Oh, uh, looks like this wagon is actually limited to 80. Ooh, so that freight train can't go 100. Oh well, we'll see, we'll see. To be honest, I, I should have checked if my cars can go 120 uh, or, or 140. I, I believe those were limited to 140. 
Oh, okay. Uh, this car can go 200. Um, this one might be a problem. No, this one is limited to 160. And this one is 200. Yeah, so technically that train, if pulled by correct locomotive, uh, with ETCS system installed on the track, so uh, that train could go up to 160, uh, unfortunately, uh, with my locomotive, which I believe is limited to... Well, it will be limited to 125 anyway. Yeah, we, we can go fast, chat, we can go fast. Oh, you had your third dose already. Nice, nice. Uh, it's good to know that you are now protected from COVID. <laughs> Looks like there are some places in the world where where COVID is still a thing. Uh, because, like in the UK, in the UK, everyone already managed to forget about COVID. Like, uh, there's only a few people that still talk about it and, and, and the rest is like yeah whatever Th that's been a, a, a top topic last year now it, something else is trendy so like yeah that's that's pretty much people's view on, on the covid right now okay let's have a look there's anything else further down this way nothing's coming okay Uh, Sir Pogo, I believe that you can write your email in English and that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but it might take a while to get any any response. I, I'm not sure how often administration is actually answering those emails and, and how does the process look like because I've never been banned myself uh, never actually did anything that that would anger uh, administration so bad to, to ban me so I didn't have to write any emails myself the derailleur is is off it should be constantly on Let's see what's on the other side of the tracks. 
let's just not get run over. Got some houses to chop. Well, then make sure to write it correctly. And, and then just send it. Okay, uh, so that's that's the end. Get some random houses. That's that's pretty well made scenery to be honest. It doesn't have too much. It doesn't have too little. Uh, whatever you can see from from your cabin seems pretty pretty all right. Uh, well, in the background, yeah, you can see that uh, there is not too many details. That's fine, chat. That's fine. Most of the people will view this scenery from from the track's perspective. So when you stand on the tracks and look in here, you can see some houses. Uh, a bit of a forest. Yeah, that's that's really nice. That's really nice. houses nice 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 storage that's a lot of coal well these guys won't be cold this winter okay there's more more <laughs> oh I, I I like that tiny house it's it's really nice Why would someone have a warehouse with a loading ramp uh, in his garden? Like, uh... hmm. That's a bit inconsistent. Yeah, there should be at least a road next to it, something. Uh... Oh, well. oh, that's some factory, is it? Yeah, that looks like a factory. Uh... Is there any entrance? Any entrance, please. Oh, okay, that, that will do. Hoodie, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Okay, that looks good, that looks good. Oh wow, uh, I feel sorry for any lorry driver or, or truck driver that has to get onto this ramp in, in so confined area. It's, it's really not, not nice to navigate a lorry or, or a truck next to so many obstacles. Really nice scene. 
Oh my goodness, me could uh oh, you just scared me. Uh, you are a crew member for four months already. Congratulations, congratulations and thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it. Ooh, that that scared me really bad. <laughs> to be honest. E-Boss, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. <laughs> Rola Nafshi, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. I'm still awaiting for my timetable from from Zori. So right now I decided to do some sightseeing. Oh there we go, we got a little. Let's let's go and buy cheap stuff. Well, they could at least invest in, in some sort of a pavement. There we go. Little. Yeah, this video is totally not sponsored. <laughs> Jimmy Tain. Oh my goodness. Me. Three months. Three months. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for supporting me for three months already. Wow, this 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 building seems to be flying a bit hmm. no shopping carts I'm doing great I'm doing really great and how are you doing Oh my, oh my, oh my. That that sign table takes a while to, to be built. Okay, some more houses. Okay, okay, so we visited this side of the bridge. But oh there we go, chat. We we got the timetable. Uh, let me just have a look. Oh, wow. 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 That is amazing. That is amazing, chat. This is timetable that I'm looking for. Okay. Long one. Yes, that is a very long one. And we have a departure. And we have a departure. Pretty much right now. As long as the route will be ready. Ooh, uh, there's not many stops. Uh, so that's a good thing. Uh, we got stop at Shermin. Uh, for like a couple of minutes. Which is good. Uh, is that an express? Yes, uh, this is an express train. Uh, that's why I requested a long timetable. This is 280 kilometer long timetable. Uh, so that is really amazing. That's the longest timetable I've ever had. And I think that might be the longest timetable currently set in train driver obviously not the longest one someone ever had uh, I, I'm not sure what was the longest one people got uh, but yeah uh, this will take us 
yeah, about four hours. Four, five hours, yeah. No, it, it's gonna be four hours, yes. And that's gonna be about four hours. Uh, Boxcar the Husky. No, uh, this game doesn't have steam locomotives, um, I'm afraid. It used to. Uh, but unfortunately, not anymore. A uh, long trip. Yes, it is a very long trip. Uh, right, we need to put this one down. And off we go, chat. Off we go. It is time to begin our journey. Why were they removed? Uh, I believe it's because the model was very poor quality. Uh, I don't think the game uh, currently handles smoke effects and controls of, of steam locomotive uh, pretty well. Uh, so yeah, implementing such complex uh, locomotive into Train Driver 2 is not going to be easy. Uh, so yeah, basically Back then the model was pretty poor quality from, from what I remember, but if you look through uh, through YouTube, uh, you will probably find at least one video uh, of someone from, from like 2014, 2015, uh, when someone actually used a steam locomotive, uh, so you can see how bad it looked like. Okay, so I am approaching a red light, chat. There we go, and now we have to wait. Wow, well, that that route didn't took us long. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, so what do we have? We got Arkadia Zdrój, Schlichtingowa, Pravelas, Glaszki, Dijewo, Spendów, Czermin, Dublinek, Borowiki, wow, so many. 
Okay, looks like a Chermin we will have few stops. Uh, so we got Chermin and then Bronowice, Zaborów. Uh, we got technical stop at Kleszów. And then we have to stop at Wielichowo. Pszczyna, wow. I didn't even knew that, that there is Pszczyna in the game already. Uh, then we head to Głowno. Luzino. Mm -hmm. Lemborg. Okoń Główny. And finally, we are heading to Biała Sudecka shortly before 11. So that is going to take us long. Uh, right. Uh, standing just just outside of good vision uh, vision of, of the semaphore right so let's cheat a little bit uh, that is semaphore C Let's see if, if if we can get permission to continue. release the brakes just in case we're gonna get permission to continue Okay, looks like we will have to keep the brakes on. Otherwise the train will roll back. That's definitely not something we want to do. Okay, we are still waiting, chat. We are still waiting. Uh, not sure what's going on.
Oh, I see. He probably went AFK. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So, so that's why the semaphore wasn't set. Well, the semaphore wasn't set because he probably forgot about it. And now that he is back, he will have to assess the situation. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That might take a minute. What is my favorite kind of locomotive? Um, to be honest, I, I, technically that would be any electric locomotive. Yeah, electric locomotives are, are the best in my opinion. Uh, obviously, I really enjoy uh, steam locomotives every now and then. Uh, but yeah, if, if I'm if I'm to choose my absolute favorite, uh, then electric locomotives would be the best. There we go, we can now continue with a slight delay, uh, but we will try to make up that lost time on the route. go Right chat. Uh, yeah, uh, in the US you will mostly find uh, diesel locomotives. They are pretty nice, uh, they are pretty nice. Uh, Sir Pogo, uh, no, uh, pretty much the rolling stock is the same as it was, well, as it was uh, like uh, a year ago uh, there were a few rail cars added uh, with some uh, some new texturing and and basically uh, new models uh, but other than that uh, no uh, no new locomotives were added yet uh, I know there are a few in the works right now so who knows who knows uh, at some point we might find whoa uh, that's gonna be derailment. Yeah. Uh, that's... Wait. I, I've seen the sign on the other track. There was no sign for my track. Or did I miss it? Oh, that was bad. Uh... Okay, chat, okay. <laughs> chat, this is pretty much the first time I, I actually derailed out of my fault. Oh my goodness me, I, I really need to focus, is it? Uh, right, but 
we can we can restart that and this time this time I should be able yeah that that was rip uh, that that was definitely pretty bad I really need to focus oh my goodness me how did I manage to miss 50 km per hour speed limit uh nothing to see here uh there is a lot to see here Right, I'm, I'm trying to find Zori, but I can't see them. Uh, where is... Oh, there we go. Rest in pizza, yes, uh, definitely. Uh, that, that was pretty bad. That was really bad, chat. Oh my goodness me. Uh, that was fatal derail. Uh, right, uh, let's quickly set up this bad boy. Uh, uh, how did I manage? Oh, okay. Okay, so we got timetable once more. That's the same timetable chat. Uh, but unfortunately, I will be late. I will be super late. Uh, so. Let's get that quickly set up. Uh, and this time, I really need to focus, chat. No more derailments. Okay. Uh, on the next semaphore, I will have a subsidiary signal. Around 20 minutes delay isn't that bad in Poland. Yes, it isn't, but uh, yeah, that, that was really bad, chat. That was really bad. Like, I didn't even left the first scenery. Oh, I, I really need to focus today. Rumastelian, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, there is no need for us to rush uh, because we are now approaching that red signal. And I will have a chance to verify if there is actual sign on Zori that tells you there is going to be 50 limit. I think there was a sign, but I might have missed it. And that's why I derailed. Which is bad. Uh, technically it's just an alerter to be honest. Uh, basically, this, you got two safety systems here at the moment. One is normal alerter uh, that is triggered every 60 seconds. And the other one is called automatic train brake. And basically, that's a magnet that's placed on, on the tracks that triggers basically another alerter. Uh, so... If that alerter is not reset when it triggers or when it comes up, like right now, it will first sound the alarm and if it's still not triggered, uh, then obviously you have to, well, the train will be brought to, to a stop by, by the system automatically. And that's, that's pretty much the only safety system that is uh, in place at the moment. Uh, or in the game at the moment. Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, some tracks or some routes in Poland already have ETCS level 1 and 2. Uh, so, 
uh, that might eventually get into the game at some point and then that will be another safety system uh, right uh, Let's wait for that subsidiary signal. Yeah, basically. Uh, it can be somewhat compared to very old PZB version, uh, which actually requires you to only confirm the signals without any uh, any like serious consequences like they are right now. Uh, I, I think back in the days it was like ZD34, something like that, can't remember. Uh, but if you look at development of the ZB system, uh, one of the old versions worked pretty much the same as uh, as this alerter and, and uh, an automatic train rate. Right, chat, uh, once more, I'm, I'm stuck on that signal. Uh, I need to wait for that uh, substitute uh, to be given. So we will have massive delay as an express train. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Uh, so now I need to focus and check if there is sign on my side of the tracks. There we go. Uh, it depends. Uh, I think ETCS can be installed technically if if the locomotives are modernized. So uh, perhaps there there are some models already that that would have uh, ETCS installed. Uh, I know that uh, ED250 has ETCS, uh, but when it comes to other units or locomotives, uh, I'm, I'm not so sure about it. I I haven't really done any research on, on that topic yet. Right, chat, we are back on the move and this time I really need to focus. Uh, like, that should never happen. Uh, but I guess that's what I get uh, for trying to rush things without knowing the roots. And it happens. That's why we are playing simulators. Uh, that's why we are playing simulators. So we can learn. And sometimes, if the mistakes happen, well, we can always restart and there are no consequences. Or at least no serious consequences. I don't think it's too harsh. Uh, there is a strict set of rules that needs to be followed, and and if you don't follow them, yeah. Uh, see, chat. Uh, there is a speed limit sign, but it's for different track. Uh, oh, okay. There is a sign for my track as well, and and that's the one that I missed. And that's why I derailed last time because I kept speeding up while there is a 50 km per hour speed limit in front of me. However, this time, chat, this time, I am prepared. I am prepared, so... Yeah, basically, last time I missed a sign, and that, that was really painful and costly.
There we go, and that's the speed limit. I mean, you know, the train, uh, let's say in, in that case, I, I don't think the train would actually derail. Uh, but yeah, I, I would probably get a massive bollocking from my from my bosses after, uh, after they discover on, on my like speed tape that I've been doing 80 on a 50. And yeah, uh, the train really derails, uh, well, derails, uh, it, it just stops on the track uh, with, with malfunction, uh, so, yeah. Yes, the track could be damaged, and that's why there is a speed limit, but if the track would be damaged to the point where the trains can't move, uh, then basically, yeah, no train would be allowed to, to move on that track and, and we would have like left track uh, system and, and so on and so on uh, so yeah if the if the track main uh, track maintenance team is putting a speed limit on a certain bit of a track that doesn't exactly mean that the train will derail if it goes faster the train may delay uh, if if they will keep uh, well uh, the train may derail if they are keep going too fast uh, so technically like should I derail on on this bit that was a possibility and and unfortunately I I derailed um, although the game has a quite strict rule if if your speed uh, your speed exceeds the speed limit by more than 25 kilometers per hour that's when the game will derail your train automatically uh, but up to that point uh, you basically don't derail if, if you exceed the speed limit let's say by 10 kilometers or by 15 kilometers per hour it will just pop up on your screen that yes you are going too fast uh, but nothing else will happen Right, we got 80. We have finally reached Arcadia's Drui. And we are now approaching 50. Oh my goodness. Okay, and I'm doing 60, so basically there is no point for me to speed up. Right, chat, uh, we have massive delay, I, I'm not gonna lie, we are 20, oh, nearly half an hour late. almost half an hour late so I'm not sure if we will be able to get that time back possibly not okay let's slow down a bit Right, how do I make up lost time? Uh, that's not going to be easy, chat. That's not going to be easy.
Oh, the tracks are going downhill. There we go, now we can let it loose. Uh, speed limit should be back to 80. Not for long. We are now approaching 70. Which is our current speed. We can let it coast. Okay, uh, let's send what we received. Perfect. Uh, now let's control our speed. And we should be alright, chat. No more derails today, okay? Uh, I, I reserve the right to derail for Derail Valley, not for train driver. <laughs> there we go, we are now approaching 7... well, we are now entering 70 zone. section. Perfect. Okay, we are not stopping here. Perfect. And now we are back to 80 kilometers per hour speed limit. Perfect. Let's just allow entire train to roll into that zone so that we can speed up. There we go. Now we can let it coast. Okay, so that was Arkadia's Drui. Uh, we can move the timetable higher. We are now approaching Schlichtingova. Uh, speed limit there will be 90 km per hour. Okay, and I am going a little bit too fast because uh, the tracks are going downhill. So let's drop the speed a little bit. Perfect. Just perfect. Oh, there we go. We got people waving from the bridge. That's that was really nice.
Okay, uh, let's... Give a thumbs up to the dispatcher. He definitely did a good job. Right, chat, in order to make up some time uh, that I lost, I would really have to keep on top of my speed. And then we might have a chance to make up some of that 30 minutes that we lost uh, because of that signal and because of my derailment, which, which was really unfortunate and, and not needed in, in all that grand scheme of things. But hopefully we will be able to finish this timetable before 11 p.m. That's that's my goal. There we go. chat this is not gonna be easy that's not gonna be easy task hopefully nobody will de uh, well delay me uh, however there is a possibility uh, that if we won't make it to Volanovska on time we will be delayed on that single track sections and that might be a problem uh, because starting from Volanovska all the way to Chermin, we are going on a single track. And we are already late to get to Volanovska. Pretty much right now we were supposed to be there. And I got no entry signal. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Well, I do have entry signal, but I will have to stop. And that's not good. Oh, okay. Okay. Right, chat. The reason why I'm being stopped on that station is because uh, I, I believe Dispatcher didn't realize that I don't really have scheduled stop on his uh, station. And he set only entry signal, but not exit signal. Oh, this is gonna be painful. Right, let's roll in. Closer to that semaphore.
There we go. Okay, chat. Uh, we will have another... Delays. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Lapis, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. How are you doing, buddy? Well, chat, it looks like this express train is going to be very late. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, and I got 280 kilometers to go with that thing. Uh, Well, chat, with, with dispatchers like, like this guy, ooh, this is going to take a while. Okay, it might be because that 222... Uh, two, two. Oh my goodness me, this is so hard to read. Yeah, it's probably because that route was uh, busy. Uh, that's why he couldn't set my uh, my route forward. I can see this guy is trying to get me through. Okay, okay. There is a chance, chat. There is a chance. But we unfortunately lost time. And that's not something I wanted to do. set up the external camera oh my goodness me chat now we are waiting and there is gonna be more waiting to do uh, because we began late and since we are delayed uh, yeah this is gonna catch further delays uh, well, yeah, definitely even as an express train if you catch a delay in train driver 2 you are pretty much doomed because there's always some traffic that won't match your timetable and you are supposed to just fly through. Uh, so obviously, whenever dispatcher is able to send you through, that's not a problem. Uh, but there will be situations when there is a train in front of you and you have to wait for him. And obviously, whenever it it is possible, the dispatcher might hold other train on the siding, but they need to know that you are arriving, how, how soon you're gonna arrive. 
and and that's really sometimes hard to predict. So yeah, uh, there's going to be more and more and more waiting. I don't think we are going to finish this timetable on time. But as long as the last station is on, that should be alright. Yeah, as long as pod uh, yeah, Biała Sudecka is on, uh, we should be alright. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And so we wait. there any yeah there is no other train on the route so it might be because Blaski have this route busy at the moment uh, so this will be interesting yeah this is gonna be interesting chat At this moment, I was supposed to be... ...approaching my first scheduled stop. Uh, but that's not going to happen. Uh, right, let me just... Change my light. So apparently, dispatcher is planning to send me on a left track. Which isn't a problem for me, as long as he can squeeze me in. Why did he give me a shunting signal? <laughs> no, 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 no. Shunting signal is not something that he has to give me. He's probably struggling to figure out how to switch the track to left one. Um, can't remember if he's using SPK there is a trick to it and, and you have to activate the left track 
otherwise it, by default it won't let you send the train onto a left track if you don't specifically tell it to and like it, it takes a while to figure that out uh, it's, it's not it's not that easy and uh, so he's probably struggling how to do it and I don't blame him it took me a while to, to figure that out Worst case scenario, if he won't be able to figure that out, he is gonna issue a written order to pass the signal at danger, which makes, well, no difference for me at this point. So we'll see what's going to happen. Uh, is, is he going to figure that out, or is he going to go a short way to just issue a written order. Okay, for now I need to set the light correctly uh, for the situation, which means that, well, I'm, I'm effectively stopped. So, chat, uh, make bets. Uh, is, is he going to figure out how to uh, set everything correctly? And, and is he going to be able to issue the correct signal on the semaphore? Or am I going to receive a written order? You can place your bets on the chat right now. <laughs> boss says written order anyone else Okay, subsidiary signal, yes, that's a, that's another option, in, in fact I, I should have thought about this, but yeah, he, he could issue subsidiary signal. Okay, so, so we got one vote for written order, one vote for substitute signal. Come on, chat. Is there anyone who actually believes that, that this dispatcher is going to crack it correctly and, and like issue a correct signal? Anyone? Anyone? Or, or everyone else lost faith? Yeah, th there were some attempts, chat. There were some attempts, but that that's that's not how it. Well, that's not how it works. There we go, chat. Wow, success. Okay, so he managed to figure that out. So that's that's good for him. 
Uh, obviously, I need to set my lights correctly right now. Not exactly. He's gaining experience. That's that's a good thing. Many new dispatchers uh, would probably resign and and like right. issue substitute signal or written order, which is far easier than than set up SPK. Uh, thank you very much for subscription. Uh, I. Was that Aldi? Uh, Alti? Uh, oh my goodness me. I, I completely missed the name, but thank you very much for subscribing. And welcome to the stream. Now we can try to speed up to 90. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not sure if enjoyment has grown, but definitely he now learned how to do it. Uh, it will probably take him a few more times or a few more tries to, to be fluent at this, but yeah. Uh, I, I remember my starts with uh, SPK and like everything I had to do, like it was a problem and since I'm not really dispatching that often in this game every time I start SPK uh, which is one of my favorite dispatch boxes I struggle to do some things uh, because it's it's not that straightforward uh, as uh, SPE might be uh, although I, I, I need to learn SPE at some point okay Uh, let's give, yeah, he has a thumbs up. Well, I, I, I wish to see S2s uh, only. Uh, we are now late, chat. We are very late. We are so late that this is unbelievable. We are just at the beginning of our journey. Oh, this stream is going to take forever. There we go. Speed limit goes up to 100. question is when does this dispatcher want me to go back to the right track or is he going to carry on uh, my journey on the left track for now I'm sure that's not going to be the case and I will soon see a red signal okay
Okay, so I won't have permission to carry on. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It is going to take forever, chat. Now oh, there we go. Now I can carry on. Just when I managed to stop. Okay, but it looks like I'm gonna be going back onto the right track. Atrimi, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. How are you doing? Okay, we got neutral section, so we need to let it coast. Andrea, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Uh, yes, chat, just as I predicted, we are heading back onto the right track, so I can now set my lights correctly. Nice, nice. Uh, where did you manage to find the job? Okay, chat. Uh, looks like we still got no entry to the next station. Night receptionist at a hotel. Okay. Okay, that sounds good. Right, let's have a look. I think the lights have already changed. Is 
is it? Yeah, it's green. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, that's how long it was it? Like two, three months, probably. Ah, oh, never mind, chat. We will have to bring this bad boy to a stop. Ah, oh, sadly. Sadly, chat, it's it's not gonna be easy to go through that route uh, anymore, since I'm so late. Everyone will delay me even further. Uh. <laughs> nice mustache. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I I I keep hearing that quite often recently. You know. Oh my goodness me, you weren't watching my streams uh, for that long. Oh. oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, that was a very short stop. And we are approaching 120 km per hour speed limit, which means we will be able to go a little bit quicker. Okay. <laughs> Weird and busy, you say? Yeah, it's... Well, to be honest, for me it was also busy, so I can't blame you.
But it's good to hear that uh, you are getting somewhere and, and you found a new job. There we go, chat. There we go. All I need to do now is to keep my speed at this level. We are so, so, so late. Oh, this is unbelievable. So we are now approaching Blaski. And we were supposed to be here almost an hour ago. That's how late we are. Okay, the next scenery is now loading. And I need to slow down to a hundred. There we go. Oh, wow. That sounds really rough. That sounds really rough. There we go. Now we can speed back up. Or speed up again. It was just this uh, railway crossing that had 50 km per hour speed limit. Ah, oh, that's... Now I have to... Eh, speed up again. Oh, nice. Uh, so what? Uh, you were, uh, you've been underpaid, or or how does it work?
Okay. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, I see, I see. I I think I understand now. Okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. Yeah, uh, it's not uncommon for employers to try and take advantage of their employees. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's good that you won the case and, and gain some extra cash. That is a rough speed limit. Come on, from a hundred kilometers per hour, just for the duration of passing through that railroad crossing. The speed limit was 30, and there is another one that is also limited to 30 kilometers per hour, and I'm currently doing like 35. Oh wow, the train is not even slowing down even though I got brakes. I, I, I think brakes on these wagons might be really busted.
Okay, I think we can speed up again. So, where are we? Uh, we are now heading to Vievo. Was it? Yeah, I, I think it's Vievo. Oh, chat, this is gonna be a long stream, I can tell you that. down or let it coast because uh, the next station is Volanovska that we are going to pass through and that is limited to 70 which is my current speed I see, I see. Well, it was their decision to lose the money, you know. Good for you then, good for you. XYZ, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. Alright, chat. Question is, are we going to go through this scenery without any issues? Or are there gonna be some issues? Oh, you downloaded the game and, and you like it. That's nice, that's nice. I'm, I'm glad you like it. Perfect. <laughs> no issues, fingers crossed. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Thank you very much. Okay, we are now passing through Volanovska Vies. And there are no issues, at least for now. Green light, perfect. And now I have to slow down to 40.
There we go. Okay, we just need to clear those junctions, which seems to be limited to 40 kilometers per hour, so we can't really go too fast. And then we can go back to the full speed according to that signal. <laughs> what you cooking, Doc? Nah, don't worry. Like, right now there is it doesn't really matter uh, they tried to rip you off uh, they were doing everything to to make things worse for you uh, so yeah you came out on on top in the end so i guess that's good for you ah bolognese yes Sounds tasty. To be honest, uh, after this stream ends, uh, since it's gonna be quite late, I might actually treat myself with uh, takeaway. Uh, yeah, I, I think I will order some food later. Especially that at work, uh, or from my work, uh, I recently received a, like a 15 quid voucher for like one of those sites where you can order food. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I, I guess I'm gonna treat myself after the stream. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just need to decide what what kind of cuisine I, I want to order. Uh, I'm, I'm really not fancy to, to get any pizza today. Uh, so perhaps Italian uh, Italian dishes are, are out of the question today. Uh, maybe Chinese. Uh, yeah, that, that would be interesting. I'm not sure if, uh, if any of the Japanese uh, restaurants is doing anything take away in my time uh, but yeah yeah uh, I think I will go with Chinese today I really enjoy like Chinese way of doing curry. Uh, like this curry is the best. Like at, at least in my opinion. Oh, ah, uh, oh, didn't make it. Uh, well, I I gave him thumbs up anyway. So. It doesn't really matter at this point.
There we go. We can now speed up to a hundred. Or at least try to. And that should be uh, Svendulf. Okay. Yeah, there we go, that was Svendov. We actually managed to, yeah, uh, I, I think we, we make up some, some of that delay chat. Um, not that our situation is much better, but yeah, I, I think we make up like uh, six minutes already. <laughs> yeah for the smaller station it's it's quite easy to miss that sign sometimes uh, but yeah but I don't know it's I don't really struggle that much to uh, to see the signs obviously yeah every now and then as today's stream is uh, perfect example of it I will miss a sign and and that might end well very unwell <laughs> uh, but it happens only from time to time and it's mostly because I'm distracted by reading the chat and driving a train and that never works you know you don't text and drive and, and that's the reason because you have to read something <laughs> or type something at the same time and, and yeah uh, that distraction might make you miss a sign that that you were not supposed to miss so hopefully that won't happen again today <laughs> hello Bolt, hello, hello, welcome to the stream. Yes, I uh, I now have a stash that uh, that matches my own on, on my avatar. Oh yeah, that's 280 kilometers long timetable. So this this thing will go on and go on and go on. <laughs> uh. And to be fair, uh, I got one hour delay already on on that timetable. So yeah, it's. Uh, This is gonna take a while, Bolt. It's it's gonna take a while. Where am I at the timetable? So I'm just about to leave uh, Bratoszewice, which is on the very top of my timetable. 
And I'm heading to Chermin, uh, which is supposed to be my first scheduled stop. Oh, that's... That's not really nice placement of the signs. I, I think somebody will have to look into that scenery. So many crossings in here. Ooh. I'm actually speeding now. Okay, so let's see. Uh, the first stop was going to be Chermin, apparently. And then, uh, and then we we do stop at Bronowice, Zaborów, and we got a technical stop at Pleszczów. Nah, that's not gonna happen, chat. I don't think that, yeah, that technical stop is most likely not going to happen. I'm not going to stop there. Uh, Zaborów, uh, that also looks like a technical stop. So those two won't happen. Bronowice, uh, yeah, that, that's where I will have to stop. Uh, XYZ, uh, you have to set your system clock to Warsaw time zone before starting the launcher. And then your clock will be synchronized with what you see on the timetable. Okay, chat, okay, uh, we are going as fast as we can to, to reach Chermin. We are almost an hour late uh, to, to make our first scheduled stop.
Okay, that's uh, that's 100 km per hour speed limit. There we go. I just hope that this patcher didn't set a uh, fly through signals on that station. No, never mind. Okay, I got S1 at the end of the platform, which is correct way to do things. go let's give it 60 seconds uh, to allow passengers to quickly board the train so chat we were supposed to be on that station at 7.37 it's now 8.28 so 50 minutes delay uh, well, both there were some issues at the beginning so first of all uh, I've been held at at the signal on the first station uh, then I made a mistake and and that ended up uh, being pretty tragic in results uh, so basically what I did I missed one of the signs that told me that there is a 50 km per hour speed limit and unfortunately at, at the time when I've been passing through that section of tracks uh, I've been doing 80 uh, which means that my train derailed but because that happened before I left first scenery dispatcher 
offered to restart my timetable. So basically, I started my timetable with already like 20 minutes delay uh, because of those. And then I've been held on the signals on a few other stations on my way. And that resulted in build up of, of like 50 minutes delay in total. But I'm trying to make up for it and, and somehow reduce that to, to like more appropriate levels. The question is, is, am I going to make it? Uh, like since I'm driving express train, very often I'm... Uh, yeah, true, but it's an express train, so you don't really want to catch an hour delay. Uh, anyway, uh, now I need to stop at Bronowice for some reason. Yeah, true. Uh, you're totally right about it. Trying to catch up. Uh, but I would say trying to catch up with a train that has a little bit more stops. Uh, because right now, like, my next stop, apart from Bronowice, is Vielichovo. Which is pretty far away from here. Okay, uh, I believe we are now approaching Chermin Podgórze, is it? Please tell me it's Chermin Podgórze, not, not Bronowice yet. Yeah, that should be Chermin Podgórze. Yeah, okay, so the next small station will be Bor uh, Bronowice. Give him. Oh, it's Sykes. <laughs> Didn't even notice that he's in. There we go. Well, now Bronowica shouldn't be that far.
Okay, let's see how much time we will be able to cut on, on this one. Okay, looks like this patcher is just setting some of the signals. There we go, on those fast section uh, where you can do 120, 125 Oh, uh, in fact the speed limit will actually drop to 120 We'll just let it coast without There we go Perfect. Yeah. Uh, now we can carry on. Where are those Bronovice? Uh, they, uh, I don't know why, but I have a feeling that that we already went past that. I hope I didn't. Uh, Lane, level 3. Oh my goodness me. That Yeah, chat. I have a feeling that this... These are Bronovice. Yeah, and I was supposed to be stuck on that platform. Oh well. Nothing happens. Not my mistake. Railroad repair. Wow, but I, I can't really uh, do 50. Oh my goodness me, this is not gonna work. Right, anyway, uh, there is supposed to be a red signal in front of me. Yeah, there it is.
Okay. So now we are waiting, chat. So I believe that this is called Clash 2, is it? Yeah, that, that might be Clash 2. There we go. Okay, we can go at the top speed again. Soon we should get back to 120. go now we are approaching a hundred kilometer per hour speed limit and then uh, and then we have to stop
that was a rough stop. Okay, now I need to release the brakes. Okay, chat, not so bad, not so bad. From nearly an hour delay, uh, we are down to 48 minutes, approximately. Okay. Looks like railroad crossing is not close. So that is not helping. Because now I need to slow down to 20. just gotta love those railroad crossings, isn't it, chat? That way you're crossing, it's there. Uh. Okay, at least the next one is working. Okay, now we can speed up back to Full speed.
There we go. That was close. go uh, so where are we uh, we just left Kleszów and we are now heading to Lublinek Okay, that was Strashkov. Okay. Oh, come on. I, I really hate the moment uh, when the new scenery is uh, beginning to load. Obviously, I need to slow down to 70 before end of this scenery, preferably. Not exactly made it, uh, but I won't be far above the speed limit, so I should be pretty safe when it comes to my speed. I'm pretty much almost made it. go it's 
So we are now approaching Lublinek. Then we can go back to 120. Heading through Borowiki, Wielichowo, all the way to Wielichowo Central. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Someone passed the stop signal. Ah, uh, it looks like, yeah, Pshina will be off. Uh, that's. That's pretty unfortunate. Oh well, I, I was supposed to be there 20 minutes ago, uh, but unfortunately... I am very, very far away. Well, that is if uh, if no one else will set up Pshina, uh, because by the time I'm gonna get to Pshina, uh, to Pshina uh, it might still be a while, and somebody might actually uh, set that station online. Right, that was Lublinek, and I'm about 40 minutes late, so we are catching up with our timetable very slowly <laughs> okay. 
Okay, uh, let's give a thumbs up to the dispatcher. Uh, he did a pretty good job in here, indeed. There we go. Now we will be able to get back to 120. Yes, 120 it is. That's very good, that's very good. And it looks like uh, this is going to be offline. So uh, we're looking at what is that? Uh, 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 yeah. There we go. We got dummy dispatcher now. So now I need to go through... Ah, okay, okay. So that's really hobo. Okay, okay. Uh, so I need to be very careful here uh, to actually stop at really hobo. It doesn't really help that I don't really remember this scenery. And since Pstina is offline as well, I will be able to go in offline for quite a while without any stopping. So that's one good thing that, that happened about this situation, is that, yeah, there will be no delays on, on on that bit of the route. But the problem is I will have to manually spot the station somehow. So that was... Uh, we are now probably approaching Boroviki. Is that yeah Boroviki okay uh, so we are here now we are heading to Vyelihovo Vyesh Random Dopravak, thank you very much for subscribing me on YouTube. Welcome, welcome. 
I hope you will have fun during today's stream if you are on the chat Okay, and now we are approaching Wielichowowieś. Uh, go so that's very half of yes now we are heading to very hover group now Perfect. We are now approaching Vierlihovo Wugna. Uh, spider, yes, it is massive. Uh, that's 280 kilometers long timetable. Okay, perfect. Yeah, everything goes normal.
Okay, and now I'm approaching platforms. Ooh, that's on a fast side. Okay, Whew. that is first stop in three hours. Uh, so chat, since next two stations are offline anyway, uh, because Pszczyna is also offline, if, if I'm correct. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I will take a very short break, because uh, three hours and 20 minutes is a little bit like above the top. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna take a break because I'm still I'm delayed anyway, so it's not that I'm gonna catch up. <laughs> Coffee time, yeah, definitely for sure. So chat, I'm gonna be back with you in five to ten minutes, and then we will continue. Uh, I will also have to verify if someone took Pshina by the time I come back, uh, so uh, so I won't just barge into someone's station when it's back online. Uh, anyway. Uh, we'll think about it when I get back. So I'll see you in five to ten minutes.
Okay, chat. Okay, okay. I'm back. So, uh, I just looked at uh, Stacjownik uh, before coming back. Uh, looks like Pszczyna is still offline, so we will just carry on. Okay, brakes are now released. Right, uh, chat, I don't really know uh, how Pszczyna scenery looks like, so keep your fingers crossed that I won't overshoot the station. And yes, Spider, uh, there is there is that small chance that uh, I will be able to reduce that delay a bit further, if possible. Obviously, right now with my short break, I increased that, so that's not going to help. We shall see, we shall see, chat. Uh, let me just scroll through it. Pszczyna is now loading. So Wapanov is first, but we are just going through it. Oops, uh, so technically I was supposed to contact with Dispatcher. Oh. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear.
Okay. Okay, so that that was a serious mistake from me. Uh, I thought that Wapanov is just a small station on, on Vyrikovo. Oh my goodness me. Okay. Oops. And I'm also speeding. Okay, I, I now need to focus, chat, because uh, that's, that's where mistakes are being made. <laughs> that's a serious, that's the second serious mistake today, chat, and, and that should not happen. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, random Dopravak, uh, tutorial for a dispatcher, that's uh, that's gonna be a very long term plan, uh, I'm afraid, uh, because recently I'm very busy with uh, with my private life stuff and I don't really have time to properly describe everything and, and put it into a video uh, so that might take a while although it is on my list somewhere uh, however if we want to learn how to dispatch in train driver 2 the best way is to contact with one of the trainers on the forum and they will explain it to you and show you how to operate different uh, signal boxes. Okay, I can actually stop at the platform, even though I don't have scheduled stuff here. I can see the semaphore, so when it changes, I will be able to... ...continue. Uh, yeah, and we will be going on substitute signal so as soon as it flashes there we go we may now carry on
Okay, okay, chat. Uh, so, uh, now I'm heading to Pstina. Oh my goodness me. Uh, and then I will need to ask to get access to Alexander Kuyaski. Uh, yeah. That's that's how it's gonna work. Uh. Okay, so this trip, two serious mistakes already. Hopefully there will be no more. Okay, we are approaching 100 km per hour speed limit. That's here on that bridge. Perfect. And now we can carry on speeding up to 120. There we go. Oh dear. Hi. There we go, dummy dispatcher is now initialized. So that first signal that was literally at at the very beginning, I had no chance to even stop at it. Uh, but the rest of the signals should now be showing green. Okay, that's a hundred. I'm I'm speeding a little bit. Okay, so Pstina is pretty much right at the beginning of the scenery by the looks of it.
Is it or is it not? Uh, I'm gonna slow down a little bit. Yeah, that's Pshina. Okay, we are now stopped. Uh, let's let's just have a look if my train actually fits. Uh, I have a feeling that. Okay, just just fits. Yeah, it just fits. Perfect. Okay, so now I need to contact with Alexander Kuyavsky. And figure out if I can get there. So let's get back to the cabin. Okay, so that's gonna increase the delay. Uh, so I first need to get permission from Alexander Kuyavsky to continue, which I haven't done for Wapanov. And that's almost ended bad. There we go. And let's give it... Okay, we can actually send it now. Yeah, getting responses from SWDR sometimes might take a while.
Okay. All right, so we can continue. Let's release the brakes. We got exactly one hour delay. Uh, I'm not really happy about this. But it is what it is, chat. Stefanacek, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so that was Piasek. We still need to go through Kobyur. And then we will be on our way to Aleksandrów Kujawski.
Okay, slightly speeding. Just slightly. And it's mostly because the tracks are going downhill, uh, from what I can see. Okay, now we can slow down a little bit. Since the speed limit is dropping down to 120. Okay, so that's Kobyur. And the speed limit is going back. Oh, okay. Lugino and Lemborg are gonna be off. That's what I get for having timetable that's um, going through so many stations. It's nice on one hand, on the other hand, uh, especially when you go, uh, well, when you catch some delays, uh, there is a high risk that dispatchers will have to finish early. Um, not a big deal. We can still make it. And we might actually save some time because of that. Uh, because we won't be stopping at Lugino in Lemberg for such a long time. Uh, we'll just take it as a one minute stops. So this will save us some time. Anyway, first we need to get to Alexandrov Kujawski. There we go. Now, if we are lucky, we will go quickly through Głowno. Yeah, we can actually save some time, chat. We can save some time, totally. Okay, we need to slow down quite a lot.
XYZ, uh, we are now approaching uh, Alexandru Kujawski and it looks like we will have to stop at the platform for a minute or two. Well, uh, Spider, many things have happened. Uh, let me first stop uh, before I start to tell you that story. Yeah, uh, yeah. So basically, uh, first of all, it took a while for me to depart from Zori. Uh, let me just get back to. There we go. Um, yeah, so I departed from Zori like two, three minutes late. Uh, then I've been held at one of the signals uh, in the middle of the scenery. Uh, then I eventually got a green light. But that was the first huge mistake of the day that I made. And that was me missing a sign with a temporary speed limit. And eventually, I derailed on my starting scenery. <laughs> Believe it or not, yes, I, I derailed because I messed up. Uh, then dispatcher offered me to restart my timetable. Uh, so that's what we did. And I had to start at Jory again. Uh, and I eventually departed like 20, 25 minutes late to begin with. Uh, and then on a few other stations I've been held at a signals because traffic didn't allow uh, dispatchers to send me through without stopping. So yeah, uh, that delay was building up over time. I mean, you know, this pattern. To be honest, I'm not sure if he got angry. Well, definitely it took him like 20 minutes to build that timetable to begin with. Uh, so yeah, the fact that I derailed uh, even before I left his uh, <laughs> his scenery was a little bit <laughs> disappointing, probably. Uh, but no, I I don't think he got specifically angry because. Uh, he could just restart it and, and like I could just carry on it was the first scenery after all uh, and since that was online run uh, basically I get automatically punished anyway uh, by gaining like I think 20% of, of warning level uh, for derailment uh, so yeah that's gonna be gone in like 3-4 days so before I will be playing train driver again it won't exist anymore. <laughs> mm. 
No, no, I, I derailed that sorry. Uh, uh, had no major issues on other sceneries. Uh, well, apart from Wapanov where... Uh, where I entered without permission from offline scenery and that was an, again my mistake. Uh, I should have noticed that Wapanov is not part of uh, Virichovo. And yeah, and now I just carry on. Uh, well, we passed the midpoint of, of that timetable, so hopefully I will be able to finish it. Although, yeah, I was supposed to finish that timetable within next hour. Uh, but that's not gonna, going to happen. Uh, I'm currently approaching Grudze. So I'm still pretty far away. There we go. I don't think I'm gonna make it, uh, to be honest. Uh, I got Lugino and Lemborg on offline. Uh, so that will potentially slow me down a bit, because uh, then I have to contact with Vitonia. And I'm not sure what's gonna be traffic situation on consecutive stations. Uh, so, yeah, I, I expect some delays. Uh, and also, right now, I'm approaching Głowno, and, and that might, again, slow me down, because this is a single track section. Uh, yeah, I know I can, like, cut those short, uh, those stops short, uh, but again, getting permission from SWDR, uh, or yeah, SWDR. Uh, that that takes a while sometimes, and I also got few single track sections in front of me, so that may cause delays. Uh, obviously, yeah, I might save time on Lugino and Lemborg thanks to thanks to the fact that they are offline. But that's it. Yeah, that's another issue. It it still doesn't cut my delay that much. Uh, it will reduce it. But it won't eliminate it. So yeah, I'm hoping to finish by half eleven, uh, if, if possible. Uh, XYZ because dispatcher contacted with me and and he told me that he's going offline and since it's late I don't expect anyone else to actually jump in on those stations to to dispatch
Uh, boxcar, uh, train driver series free. Uh, there is a link in description of, of the video. And then by navigating through that website, you can just download it, uh, register your account and start playing. Well, uh, obviously you should learn uh, traffic rules in Poland, uh, because since the game is online, uh, you need to know them in order to to be able to perform because the game doesn't really have a typical UI uh, well UI is very minimized uh, so it won't guide you as well as uh, let's say train sim world 2 would oh I see you don't have a PC yes yeah, so that makes a little bit of a problem but when you will get a PC, uh, then yeah, uh, definitely I strongly recommend getting this game. Okay, just as expected, Lugino is offline, so I expect Lemborg to be offline too. And for a change, those are consecutive sceneries. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay, so that is Gwovno. Uh, 60 minutes delay, chat. 60 minutes delay. Although I'm now saving time. Because uh, I was supposed to be stopped in here for 11 minutes. Uh, so that is saving me time. Oh yeah, I, I was supposed to stop on, on the platform, did I? <laughs> Oh dear, I, I did another stupid chat. Uh. Oh, it's a technical stop. Yeah, it's it's not indicated on my timetable, so. I mean, I, I got only uh, arrival and departure time. It, it doesn't state what kind of stop is that. Uh, so is Lugino also a technical stop? All right. uh, Dave Talley, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome. Welcome to the stream if you are watching me now. Oh, I see, I see. It's not mandatory stop. Okay, okay, so it's only Lemborg where I have to stop for a minute, uh, which is not a problem.
So yeah, definitely I'm flying through Lugino. I'm not going to even slow down <laughs> unless I have to. Yeah, exactly, that's going to be a high ball. And then I'm going to perform a stop at Lemborg. And hopefully I will get... And hopefully I will get quick response. Um, yeah, I, I should keep focusing. There we go. Okay, we have a problem, chap. Oh yeah, I forgot the uh, compressor and transformer. There we go. And now I need transformer. And compressor. There we go. It's alive again, chat. It's alive. Right, so I, I guess I missed uh, neutral section. Which is another sign that I missed today, chat. I, I'm not paying enough attention to what I'm doing. And, and that causes mistakes to happen. Uh, Marcel, yes, I am driving EP07 at the moment. Can't remember the number. Oh, so it might be a locomotive malfunction. Oh, that's that's going to be problematic, chat. I I hope this this thing won't die on me. Let's make sure that, yeah, uh, Zosa needs to get timetable. Uh, timetable, uh, thumbs up. There we go. Yeah, getting a serious technical issue on a single track wouldn't be nice.
<laughs> uh, thank you very much for joining us today, Altrimi, and have a nice day tomorrow. Oh, you're on your way to, to your shift. So good luck, good luck during your shift and enjoy. Oh, okay, that, that is 60. Oh well, it doesn't really matter because we will have to stop anyway. There we go. It was op uh, well. It was opened uh, for a second. Yeah, it's not super busy uh, since it's a uh, single track scenery and there's usually not that many people. Okay, speed limit goes down to 90. Doesn't really matter. Oh, okay. I got substitute signal, uh, but I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it. Uh, random Doprawak, I currently live in UK, but yes, I am from Poland. Okay, let's, let's keep the speed below 40 for now. Oh, please, please don't stop lighting. And there we go. No, oh, that's an intro section. There we go. Uh, so, a neutral section is uh, a bit of a catenary where uh, you connect between two different lines uh, or power lines. Uh, so, they might have different parameters and therefore you should technically uh, disconnect the power and, and stop 
taking power from uh, from the catenary for for a bit uh, to allow the train to reconnect or to allow your uh, pantograph to slide uh, from one bit to another without drawing an arc uh, because otherwise if you would be drawing power while connecting between two cables you might draw an arc and damage the pantograph uh, so eventually yeah that's that's what neutral section is go we got dummy dispatcher heading to Lemborg Uh, just shutting the power does it. Uh, there are sections, uh, I'm not sure if in Poland, uh, which have a specific sign where you have to lower the pantograph. Uh, but I'm not sure if, if there are such sections typically in Poland. I, I know that there is a sign for it. Uh, so it might appear. Uh, spider, I know, I know, uh, but since this is offline scenery, I'm basically passing through without stopping. And Lemborg is also uh, also offline, so I don't really need to ask anyone for permission. Press the wrong button, and I, I held it for too long. Uh, right, uh, what have I done? There we go. There we go. It is now working. Okay, we are passing through Lugino. There we go. That's how we saved about 20 minutes instantly.
There we go. We are now approaching Lemborg. The scenery should load pretty soon. go okay Now we need to reach Lemborg Station. I believe it is gonna be soon. Okay, speed limit is going down to 100. Now we got entry signal. go and that's the platform Okay, perfect. Let's just put locomotive brake on. And now we can contact with Vitonia.
Okay. Let's see what's going to be response. See chat, that's why I told you there's always some delays when it comes to communication through SWDR. Okay, so we can carry on. It breaks off. And let's go. So that was Lemborg. And now we are heading to Vitonia, Torkov, and pretty much nobody else uh, reported any, any offline station so far. So hopefully. We will be able to continue all the way to Biała Sudecka, which is our final destination. Uh, thank you very much Ralia for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed the stream as far as you watched it. Uh, as always remember that the rest of the stream can be uh, watched on YouTube when I finish. And hopefully I will finish successfully. Uh, Jan Masaryk, thank you very much for subscribing to me on YouTube. Uh, and welcome to the stream if you are watching me right now. go the next scenery is now loading
And there we go. We are back. In online mode. Okay, so far looks like we won't get any delays here, which is nice. Yeah, there should be no problems, chat. And we are 45 minutes late. Approximately. So we managed to slightly reduce our delay. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, technically, my next stop is Okoingwówne. Which is pretty far away from here. And then we will continue all the way to Gasudetska. So on those routes, we might have a chance to make up some time. Okay, that was nice and easy.
to be honest because of that low speed it feels like the scenery is like endless and it goes and goes and goes and goes like I thought we we will go through Vitonia much quicker than we did anyway eventually We got through. So now we are heading to Torkov. Is it? Yeah, Torkov, Shelno, Gwemboshov. I think the main scenery is Gwemboshov. Uh, but we are just passing through all those places. So hopefully, if the traffic situation won't be terrible, and at that time it should be easing off, because uh, it's already quarter to 11 in Poland. Uh, we should should be able to just fly through everything and hopefully hopefully we will be able to finish that much quicker Okay, so we got entry to Gwemboshov. Okay, and entry is at 60. Uh, that's... That's actually helping. There we go. Now speed up. Okay. Looks like we will be just passing through.
Ah, it feels nice to, to finally drive at, at high speed. <laughs> Okay, so that's Gwen Boshov. Okay, and soon we will have to slow down to 80, is it? Uh, yeah. We are speeding a little bit.
There we go. Now the speed limit goes up to a hundred. Okay, and that's Lee Scove. Our delay is now at 40 minutes, which is not too bad. Why not both, if you can't decide? Luigi Rota, hello, welcome to the stream, I hope you will have a great time today.
Okay, that was quick. And very uneventful. So now we are heading to Okoń Wschodni and Okoń Główny, uh, where we have a short stop. And hopefully, without any major incidents, then we will carry on with the rest of our journey. That should hopefully finish in about 40 minutes. Okay, it looks like Zerniki is offline. Uh, that's that's a shame. There we go. We should now be approaching Okoń Główny, isn't it?
to pull it a little bit further. There we go. That's what I get for approaching the station a little bit too quickly. Perfect. So that's Okoin Gurne. There we go. Got a nice screenshots now back into the cabin and off we go Now we are heading to, I believe, Okoin Zachodni, uh, where we will get a substitute signal to Zerniki. Okay, chat, I, I know, I know, uh, substitute signal should be passed at 40. Uh, but I'm fairly sure that, yeah, the route is clear, uh, I know this area, let's say. So yeah, in that case it was used because the next scenery is offline and normally I would get like a normal green signal. And Boxcar, yes I did and I even streamed it once or twice. Although I don't play it too often because the game is quite complicated. 
<laughs> Heartwarming fox, yeah. Uh, true, true. Famous last words. <laughs> and welcome to the stream, by the way. <laughs> uh, right, what was I? Uh, Boxcar. Uh, yes, I, I did. Uh, Right, uh, so now we are heading to Zerniki. There we go. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Uh, Yeah, watching my stream might be a good idea to, to fall asleep uh, because it's it's not not too exciting for for some people. So <laughs> hopefully it will help you sleep. go right the question is is Zavadovka a separate scenery or is that Biała Sudecka because uh, right right now I'm I'm confused Oh, so I need to... Hello, Landart. Hello. Uh, welcome to the stream. Right, yeah, the timetable doesn't really clearly indicate if Zawadówka is uh, separate scenery or if Biała Sudecka is going to be my next scenery. So I'm not sure who am I supposed to contact, but yeah, whatever. I should have some time before reaching the end of this scenery. let it coast and worst case scenario I'm gonna stop before the end of the scenery because like uh yeah it's really have to figure out who am I supposed to contact with right now.
Zawadówka, ok. Uh, so. Question is, is it on? Uh, the brakes and I will carry on at 60 Right, I, I can't figure it out to be honest. Uh, it it looks like Zavadovka might be offline. Belgiat, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. Right, uh, chat, I, I have no clue which scenery is is now next uh, i can't find zavadówka anywhere uh, and i can't get any answer from swdr uh, it's ah uh. okay uh, so i'm gonna call out to biała sudecka Okay, let's see what Videnka will answer. Uh, maybe Zawadówka is part of her scenery? I, I, I don't know, I, I'm completely lost at the moment. Okay. Track seems to be uh, free, so I assume that Zavadovka, if it's a separate scenery, uh, then it might be offline. 
Yeah, so if it's gonna be two sceneries offline anyway, then I will just crack on. Uh, how was my week? Uh, very busy. Uh, my... Uh, so literally, like, I'm so busy lately that I don't have time for anything. Uh, that's why I started to put a topic of next stream to a vote on my Discord. And uh, even preparing that stream that I knew what I'm gonna stream for a change. <laughs> uh, like, I did that like five to ten minutes before the stream started so uh yeah that's how busy i am lately and uh but soon soon i will get a bit more time so that's good but for now yeah I, I'm super busy with apprenticeship, my work, which is taking a lot of time out of my day and, and, and stuff. And, uh, really don't have time for anything. <laughs> okay, so Zavadovka. There we go. Uh, we're going offline through Zavadovka. Uh, Railjets, well, technically I'm making the same amount of money that I used to make uh, because I'm on apprenticeship with with my current employer. Uh, so the only extra payment I'm getting is like papers that will come from this apprenticeship. So all that new uh, education and, and stuff. But, you know, I eventually have to study myself because it's, it's mostly like online studies and, and stuff. And that takes a lot of time sometimes. Well, I know I can. It's it's just uh, finding time to do it is, is a problem. Well, I, I hope I will, to be honest. I, I could use extra money, to, to be fair. So, yes, I am full of hope that 
all that time I'm gonna spend right now is just gonna pay off. There we go. Chat, we are getting there. We should be reaching our destination in about 10 minutes. Finally, after so many adventures today. We are finally approaching Biała Sudecka. There we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, few things happened. Uh, so uh, let's say, well, I, I made few mistakes, yeah? Today I, I really can't focus on, on things and I, I made few mistakes. <laughs> and therefore, I'm partially responsible for that massive delay to my timetable. What did I do? I, 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 I actually derailed that train once, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I decided that it's... Well, it wouldn't be appropriate to ask someone to build a timetable for like 20-25 minutes for me. <laughs> And then not finish it. So that's uh, that. That would be really bad. Yeah, I know. It's my fault. It's my fault. I've been too focused on reading the chat rather than watching on the signs uh, next to the tracks and, and I missed a sign with temporary speed limit and I jumped into 50 into, uh, while doing like 80 or something and, and yeah, uh, obviously my train drew out because of that. And then on other occasion, I was passing through some 
offline scenery and I messed up which scenery is uh, well next as a scenery uh, which pretty much was the same issue that I had with Zawadówka and I actually drove into online scenery from offline without asking so yeah that that was another mistake that I made during today's stream <laughs> I mean I'm not blaming it on the chat I'm blaming it on myself uh, because rather than reading the chat I, I should have watched the road you know and so so it's my fault FDL, hello, welcome to the stream, I hope you will have a great time, although, yeah, you're, you're quite late and, and we are now approaching the last station of this journey. Uh, yes, uh, yes, I'm I'm late by about 40 minutes uh, at the moment. It's been a long route, definitely very long. Oh my goodness me, this station needs a lot of optimization. I can tell you that, chat. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, chat, I, I can tell you one thing about this scenery. It looks beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. But... Wow. Like, even on my PC, I, I could... I could see stuttering. But yeah, the scenery on its own, it's absolutely beautiful. I, I really like how busy it looks. Uh, but wow. I, I don't think too many people will be able to feel any comfort driving on this scenery. Fifteen to twenty. Well, it's it's not too bad now, but when I was entering that yard and, and that sidings, I, I could literally see my screen stuttering. Uh, so, you've probably seen that on the stream as well. So, yeah, definitely it took a massive toll on, on my PC. Uh, so, if somebody with a laptop will try and start this scenery, that, that won't work so well.
Uh, it might be because every single bit has to be loaded separately. It's it's not like the game is loading some sort of packs or, or, or stuff. Uh, perhaps it would be nice to have that feature where when you have longer timetable it loads two or three sceneries up front. Uh, this way the game has time to, to like allocate itself in the memory and, and stuff. Uh, I, I don't know if that would be viable option or, 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 or what, but uh, perhaps that would be an idea uh, because right now we get those loading screens and as soon as the scenery loads, which doesn't take that long to be honest, uh, you enter and it feels like there are some elements Oh, okay, I, I need to disconnect the locomotive. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. Besides, yeah, I, I think I will have uh, enough RAM to, to actually load a short journey of like 50 kilometers or, or two or three small sceneries should, without a problem, just load to my run, to be honest. Okay, the locomotive is disconnected. Entire train. Uh, let me just quickly check if. Okay, entire train managed to. I'm not sure if it's appropriate to actually use your horn. under the roof uh, but well uh, yeah that's why I'm talking about this as an option so in settings that should be like a player's decision how much the game would load up front if, if you have resources uh, okay I need to change the car uh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. people are asking me now to do things That's what I wanted to do. And now I can press this thing. This thing. This thing. There we go. Uh, Okay, now I can... Ah, oh, please tell me that... Yeah, we, we got... power. But why did this... Uh, it's also a question what stations you have. Uh, yeah, and, and that's another thing. Like, Train Driver 2 seems to be... Uh, well, seems to not be saving the stations. 
uh, when when you pass through them. And, and I was actually expecting that whenever you pass through the scenery, it, it automatically gets uh, downloaded and saved in your folder. Uh, but that's not the case. Okay, I, I need to restart my locomotive. And for some reason, that doesn't... Oh. Perhaps that's why. There we go. Come on. Why I can't start you? Uh, uh, what did I? Come on. I got the pantograph up. I'm sure of it. Come on. Why I can't turn on main circuit brake? That's... Oh, there we go. Come on. What did I mess up? Uh, it doesn't work. Ah, that might be a problem. Okay, and yeah, there we go. So now, if I will do... Ah, okay, okay. Thanks a lot, Landart. Uh, yeah, it, it works pretty weird, to be honest, uh, because technically you shouldn't have to do that. Uh, is it? Uh, yeah, technically it's like weird. Okay, uh, I, I will have to look into that uh, later, but that is working. Uh, let me just turn on, uh, yeah, there we go, that's the light. Okay, now I can. There we go. That's much better. Okay, and now I can push that locomotive to the shed. Isn't that my consist? Yes, it is. They are stealing my wagons. It's fine, I don't need them.
Yeah, it, well, actually, Videnka is the first uh, dispatcher in pretty much since since I started to to play Train Driver 2, who actually took my wagons after I finished my timetable. And she's planning to do something with it. There we go. Yeah, it's it's when this area is loading is it, it's causing massive uh, stutters. Yeah, definitely. I I really like to do that more often. Uh, that's let's say I arrive at end destination and then people just exchange the wagons between each other uh, rather than constantly connect and reconnect. That would be nice. Perhaps a separate server uh, that would allow such things where you connect, but you can connect only with like empty local. And it's dispatcher who has to like spawn some wagons, get someone to shunt them and, and do things like that. That, that would be interesting. Just, yeah, make sure that we think of us. Yeah, that would be interesting, uh, but yeah, again, that that would have to be either organized session or I don't know how that would be solved if the game would have to include some offline sceneries in, in that grand scheme of things, but yeah, th that would be really fun to, to actually get stable route that is like connected somehow from from all the sceneries and when people go online they, they just have to shunt wagons and, and stuff they can't really spawn uh, with all consists that would be nice uh, actually that is something I'm hoping uh, for in in Simrail, uh, that this will be possible because they they have a massive route. Okay. Yeah, like. I completely understand you. Uh, it's uh... okay. In fact, I, I don't really need to do that. 
I'm not sure, but I might be blocking this. Do I? Oh no, I, I'm, I'm stopped. Ah, yes, uh, I, I am in fact blocking this. Okay. I, I, I'm gonna cheat it a little bit. But you haven't seen that shot. Uh, okay, and now I need oh. uh, uh, switch this light. Okay. Now it should work. There we go. Although I need to, oh, okay. There we go, chat. We are heading to that engine shed. Yes, true. The, this station feels really alive. Uh, I, I, I really like it. The problem is it, it runs really bad. And if it runs pretty bad on my PC, I, oh, I, I feel sorry for anyone who has like a bit older machine. Because that must be unbearable. There we go. Okay. I, I think some other locomotive is still turned on. Definitely. Oh, okay. Yeah, there is that SM42 that is turned on. 
Okay, sounds good, sounds good. Uh, let's grab a screenshot. There we go. Uh, I wish there would be a command that lets you like fly with with your avatar and, and you can just move around and, and find different angles. That would be brilliant. I, I would love that. I would totally love that. There we go. More screenshots. It is really lovely scenery. There we go. Even more screenshots. Right, Whew. I guess uh, I, I won't be blocking this scenery anymore, uh, even though I'm not really blocking any tracks. Uh, so, I'm going to do that, because we finished. There we go. That's much better, isn't it? <laughs> right, chat. Thank you very much for joining me today uh, in, in that very, very long journey. I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm generally tired. Um, it was really nice and exciting uh, route. I, I would never expect a, an express train to be, to be any exciting. That's why I always avoid it playing express trains yeah and because unless you get like massive fruit just like like the one we just covered express train is boring isn't it like going from from one station to another without stopping is is kind of i don't know it's, it's it is also like some sort of route but i i always hated that about let's say trains in world 2 where you got uh, let's say a route that's 80 kilometer long and, and you start at one end you go to the other end without stopping that that makes no sense and that's why i prefer to play like fast passenger trains or even normal passenger service uh, or a freight train because that at least travels slow uh, for, a, for an express train yes if you get massive route like that um, that will be let's say 200 250 kilometer long and that starts to make sense and, and then you get one or two stops on, on that massive long journey uh, which can be kind of exciting at points uh, obviously you have to be constantly focused uh, because if you lose focus same as I did uh, today uh, then you're gonna derail your train <laughs> thankfully this happened at the very beginning of the journey uh, so this patcher was keen enough to let me restart it after after he spent 25 minutes building that timetable <laughs> and then uh, obviously a few other mistakes that i made throughout the journey uh yeah i, I definitely need to focus a little bit more do i chat yeah yeah i, I I'm, I'm fairly sure i need to focus more <laughs> anyway uh thanks for joining me again and well if you like this video and and if if you are not subscriber yet um i strongly recommend you to to, to press that subscribe button uh of course if you are watching me on twitch uh, then that follow button uh, can be pressed and, and that would probably help uh finally if you want to uh, chat with me or or people that that also follow my channel and, and would like to socialize a little bit 
Uh, then there is a Discord server. Uh, link is in the description down below the video. And finally, if you really, really, really want to support that channel a little bit more, uh, you may consider to become a channel member. And the button that press join is under player on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, thanks a lot and see you next time. Bye bye.